Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. Let's take a nice big deep breath. And from the base of your spine, down to the center of the earth. Let's create a grounding cord that's very strong and fortifying and comforting. And let's take the roots of that grounding cord and really anchor yourself to Mother Earth, to yourself, to your essence, to who you are. Let's release everything that no longer serves you. Letting go of the past. Take a nice, big, deep breath. Letting go of the future. Take a nice, big, deep breath. And now let's say hello to the here and now. Come into present time. There is no past. There is no future. It's just the here and now. About two feet out, let's create a circle of light around you. Really envision that circle of light all around you. With a circle of yellow roses. And those yellow roses represent your true sunshine spirit. Where your personality and your higher self are working hand in hand. A circle of pink roses around you that represent love and compassion for yourself as well as the outside world. Give yourself some extra love today. and a circle of red divine roses that represent protection from anything that is not of your own energy and your own light. Everything goes on the outside of your space. Experiences that are in the past, people, including your furry animals, Everything goes on the outside of your space. Claim your own energy field. This will help you get stronger and leverage the strength within you. Take a nice big deep breath. Come up to your sixth chakra right between the brow. And about two feet out, you're going to create a movie screen. Say hello to your life on your movie screen. You're not going to become the energy of your life, you'll be the observer of your life, watching the energy versus becoming the energy. Say hello to your opportunities. What opportunities do you have that you're aware of? 
just say hello to the opportunities that you're not even sure of yet. Say hello to the new. Say hello to life moving forward. Say hello to your challenges. What challenges do you have? Can you interact with your challenges in a way that you don't become the challenge? You're resolving the challenge. And you give yourself some energy that allows you to rise up and get stronger around your challenges. Say hello to your blessings. What blessings do you have? Can you celebrate your blessings today? Celebrate you being a strong, vibrant, courageous, determined, beautiful soul. Now let us check in. Physically, I'd like you to scan your body and ask yourself, how do I feel physically? Don't try to change anything. Just become aware of any dis-ease or discomfort. Give the areas that need some support a golden light for neutrality, green for healing, and pink for love. And give your physical body a beautiful love hug of pink energy throughout your body. And just thank your body for the strength and the ability to regulate your body, your physical self, each and every day. Now let us affirm in our physical body health, vitality, strength, and flow. health, vitality, strength, and flow. Take a nice big deep breath. Mm. Let's come up to the center of your head. Create a golden light, getting bigger and brighter, flushing out any fogginess, any frenetic energy, any incoherence. You're clearing the slate of your mind. It's a fresh start. Now, as you envision that golden light I'd like you to affirm in your mental energies, I am strong, I am rising up, I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. Once again, I am strong, I am rising up, I am alert, 
receptive, productive, and present. Take a nice big deep breath all the way up to your seventh chakra and all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and back into your heart space. Give your heart a hello. And now let's open up those energy centers one more time, all the way up, seventh chakra, and all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and back into your heart space. Say hello to your heart. Say hello to your feelings, your emotions. And just become aware of how you are feeling in this moment. Keep it simple. Happy, sad, excited, determined, whatever it is. You may feel a variety of things. Asking yourself, how do I feel? And now let us mock up this week's energetic intention. Becoming stronger and rising up every day requires you to consciously intend your emotions. I will give you three and you could add on to them or create a mantra that helps you stay in the strength of your life. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and Once again, I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and take a nice big deep breath. Come up to your seventh chakra, right above the head. And now we get to tune in to our more spiritual divine self, plugging in to you, to the divine, to your loved ones, to the world. And say to yourself, I am connected. I am connected. And now let's ask your higher self for help and guidance around an area that you need support where you need to rise up and stand in strength. What do you need? What resources, people, attitude, beliefs do you need help with in order for you to get stronger and rise up. I am strong. I 
I am powerful. I am courageous. I am determined. Take a nice big deep breath. Put your hand on your heart and let's think and feel three things that you are grateful for in this moment. And now let's send some love to someone who may need it, including yourself. And now let's bring down a beautiful golden sun of light coming down through the heavens, coming into your sixth chakra, igniting your intuition. You know what steps to take. Moving down into your throat chakra, your fifth chakra, strengthening your authentic true self and expression. Moving down into your heart space, filling you up with love, support, and nurturing. And whatever else you'd like to feel, affirm that now in your heart space. Bring that golden light down into your solar plexus, your third chakra, igniting your ability to manifest in alignment with your highest self. Coming down into your second chakra, saying hello to the I create energy. Moving down into your first chakra, the base of your spine, allowing that spine and that foundation to be strong. Allow that golden light to permeate any areas that need strength. As it moves down through your legs, creating strength and flexibility to move and pivot with life. As it moves down through your legs and your calves and into your feet, wiggle your toes. Say hello to your fun fairies. This life is meant to be fun. So remember to laugh and play as you move back down into Mother Earth. Say to yourself, I am strong. I am powerful. I am courageous. And I am determined. I am grounded. I am centered. All is well. Life is good. And everything is moving forward exactly as it should be. Take a nice big deep breath. Stretch it out. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected, let's move on to this week's message and life theme. So this week's topic is getting stronger and rising up each and every day. As you rise stronger, that's going to require intention in today's world. If you are wanting to move your life forward, 
if you are creating your life from intention, that means you have to be mindful about your weak areas. That doesn't mean avoiding. It doesn't mean deflecting. It doesn't mean denying the areas that need growth. For some of you, it will mean moving into action. Stop thinking about it so much. For others, it will be slowing down. Slow your roll. And be mindful about cultivating your inner strength. Coming up, we have a Mindful Mondays about mastering your inner world. The world is beyond wacky right now. It's one thing to talk about the concepts of the world and releasing old patterns, old institutions, old ways of being. It's another thing to live through it. So if I know that this is part of the process, then I'm much more willing to open up to what I need to learn. That's the collective. But individually, we also have old patterns, old institutions, old structures that are coming to an end. It's time for a new chapter. It's time for a new way of being. So what in your life do you need to fortify and strengthen and support you rising up? Is there an area of your life that you need to be stronger in? That you need to fortify? that you need to cultivate. If you're moving forward, if you're learning, if you're growing, there is going to be an area in which you need to balance out. So there are strong areas that I have that is just kind of who I am. And I bet you have those same areas too. And then there are areas that I have, well, let's just say need a little work. And I laugh at those areas because I can laugh at myself. The more aware you are, the more you can see the parts of yourself, the shadow side, the weakened areas, the areas that you may not be so great at. It might be patience. It might be determination. It might be acting on what you know. Standing in your strength, fortifying that strength. When I focus on these topics, like this topic, just by the nature of saying, I am strong, I am powerful, I am courageous, I am determined, fortifies that in my energy field. If there's an area that when you say that to yourself, doesn't feel true, doesn't feel accurate, accurate, or it's not resonating quite yet, that's the area that I want you to work on this week. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take out a piece of paper and a pen and I'd like you to write down that area. And there's three things you may need to do. You may need to act on that area and you know what that is. Write it down. You may need to be in that area, meaning getting more clarity, taking some time for reflection. 
write that down what you need. And the third one is you may need a combination of both. And I want you this week to pick three people that you can ask to reflect back to you who you are in the area of strength and power and determination. And I want you to take in what they say. Because most of the world goes around and we have needs and we call people and we ask them how they are, but we don't really reflect back to them how we feel about them, their strengths, their power within themselves. And I'd like you to ask three people. For some of you, it may be easy. Other people, you are going to be horrified by doing this. And I want you to be mindful on your ability to receive that information. Can you take it in with ease and grace? Or do you find yourself going, whoop, that just feels a little scary. I don't know if I, like a hot potato, and you kind of don't let it seep into your cells. This will also give you information about your ability to receive and really own who you are. Strong, powerful, courageous, determined. Rising stronger every day means being intentional, being clear, looking at your physical body, your mental body, your emotional body, and spiritual body, and becoming in alignment with those areas. When I'm in alignment with my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual self, I am strong. It is time for you to rise up. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for mediocre. And don't settle for what you know you are capable of. Stand strong, rise up, and be the powerful human being you already are. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Boski. And remember, until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.